Hey there, fellow gardeners. Imagine giving your plants a gift, a secret weapon to unlock their full potential. That's compost manure, pure garden gold. It's nature's way of recycling, turning kitchen scraps and yard waste into a magical elixir for your plants. Compost manure is packed with essential nutrients, feeding your plants and improving soil structure. It's like giving your garden a vitamin boost. Healthy soil means healthier plants, more vibrant blooms, and a bounty of delicious fruits and veggies. But the benefits don't stop there. Compost manure helps the soil retain moisture, reducing the need for constant watering. It also suppresses plant diseases and pests, acting like a natural shield for your garden. Ready to brew up some of this garden magic? Let's get composting. First things first. We need to find the perfect spot for your compost pile. Choose a level, well-drained area in your yard. Partial shade is ideal as it prevents the compost from drying out too quickly. You can build a fancy compost bin or keep it simple with a pile on the ground. If you're using a bin, make sure it allows for good air circulation. Remember, we're creating a haven for beneficial microbes and they need to breathe. Keep your compost pile within easy reach of your kitchen and garden. This makes it convenient to add scraps and turn the pile. Trust me, you'll be surprised how quickly it fills up. Now that we've got the location sorted, let's gather our composting materials. Think of your compost pile as a delicious salad. We need a good balance of ingredients. We'll be adding browns, greens and of course manure. Browns are rich in carbon and provide energy for our composting microbes. Think dry leaves, shredded paper, cardboard and straw. These guys are the slow dancers of the compost world, breaking down gradually. Greens are high in nitrogen and give the pile a boost of energy. These are your kitchen scraps like fruit and veggie peels, coffee grounds and grass clippings. Greens are the life of the party, decomposing quickly. And finally, the stars of the show manure. Manure from herbivorous animals like cows, horses or chickens is a powerhouse of nutrients. It adds essential elements to your compost, creating a rich feast for your plants. Remember, variety is key. The more diverse your materials, the more nutritious your compost will be. Now comes the fun part, building our compost masterpiece. Think of it as layering a delicious lasagna. But instead of pasta and cheese, we have browns, greens and manure. Start with a base layer of coarse browns, like twigs or straw, for good aeration. This allows oxygen to reach the bottom of the pile. Next, add a layer of greens, followed by a thin layer of manure. Continue layering in this order, browns, greens, manure, until your bin is full or your pile is about three to four feet high. Water each layer as you go, like you're watering your garden. Aim for a ratio of about two parts brown to one part green. The manure can be added in smaller amounts, sprinkled throughout the pile. Don't worry about being too precise, just try to maintain a good balance. Congratulations, you've built your compost pile. Now let's keep those microbes happy so they can work their magic. We need to provide them with the perfect balance of heat, air and moisture. Heat is generated naturally as the materials decompose. You can monitor the temperature with a compost thermometer. The ideal temperature is between 130 and 160 degrees Fahrenheit or 55 to 70 degrees Celsius. This heat helps break down the materials and kills off harmful pathogens. Aeration is crucial for providing oxygen to the microbes. Turn the pile every week or two using a pitchfork or compost aerator. This helps distribute heat evenly and prevents the pile from becoming too compact. Moisture is essential for decomposition. The pile should feel like a damp sponge. If it's too dry, add water when turning. If it's too wet, add more browns to absorb excess moisture. Patience, young gardener. Composting takes time, usually between two months to a year, depending on the materials and conditions. But trust me, the wait is worth it. How can you tell when your compost is ready? It will have a rich, earthy aroma and a dark, crumbly texture. You should see very little of the original materials. To speed up the process, chop up larger materials before adding them to the pile. And remember, 
Turning the pile regularly keeps the microbes happy and speeds up decomposition. Avoid adding meat, dairy or oily foods to your compost as these can attract pests and create unpleasant odours. Also, steer clear of diseased plants as they can contaminate the compost. Congratulations, you're well on your way to creating nutrient-rich compost manure for your garden. It's a rewarding process that benefits both your plants and the environment. Remember to comment, subscribe, like and share. So go forth and compost and watch your garden flourish.